this is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques. Today I have another group of things that I discovered, or I found, I should say, on a recent uh, little excursion that I went on hunting for more antiques. This time of the year, these outdoor events are getting very hard to find, and I love outdoor events, but and when it gets colder, we have to hunt maybe a little harder, but I'd like to share with you what it is that I found this time on this trip. Remember that my things, when I'm showing them, are not processed yet, but they will be. A, if there's anything that needs attention, it'll get it before it goes for sale. If you enjoyed this type of video and, and would like uh, to see more, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up or share the video. And I would just love to have you subscribe to my channel. So um, check the description for links to these pieces when they're processed. And come and see what I found. I have the things that I got in, in this particular uh, treasure hunt outing laid out here on my studio work table for you to see. I'm going to start at this end. I got quite a few items and I paid just under 200 for the total of these pieces. On the end here is a nice old wood box. It is an unusual piece. It's very long. I mean very well it's, it's, it's got a depth to it plus it's got you know a long it's very long. Uh, the front of it is a dark green. It has a slot here that I'm not sure what it was for, what the purpose was. There's a metal label window plate here. I'm sure that someone, once this is cleaned up, and it will look so much better when it's cleaned up and ready, and someone will have some wonderful repurpose idea to use that piece for. I've been running onto some clothespins lately, and I'm happy about that because I do sell a lot of clothespins, and I usually sell them in little bundles tied up. These are the kind, the older push-on types. Some of them have the rounded top head, and some of them are more squared off, as you can see there. I'm going to pull back here so that you can see this. Maybe the camera will focus for you a little bit better. It's hard with... I only have so much length to my arm. This is a nice primitive very rustic uh, stomper masher used in food preparation great in primitive kitchens here is a gray granite ware water dipper with the long handle I had just sold one of these old laundry forks and this one is really a nice one with the three tines and the real long handle. And these uh, laundry forks were used to you know retrieve the clothes from the big water bat and the boilers that they used and those are always good good sellers. I love little nurse er, early nursery pieces. These are some teething beads in a pale pink and aqua wood, wood beads. Those are wonderful little pieces. I love to collect the earlier straw stuff pin cushions. They are really the better pin cushions to even use as well as collect them. This one is a pumpkin style shape there. It's a little not not quite as thick or high I guess. But it's in a like a orangish brown that is a good piece okay then this is a great little cork receiving top uh, aqua ink bottle wonderful with a like a little dip pen or feather sticking down in that it makes a great display item I got one of these little clay face Santas they're hard to get these days this one has a remnant of his feather tree in his hand as you can see he's really a cute piece and I got this German stick legged woolly puts sheep this is a large four and a half inch size these larger sizes are very hard to come by I was thrilled to get him he's in wonderful condition here is a mica Santa sleigh looks like someone has 
turned him into a purple pink version here. He's probably around, I don't know, mid 20th century maybe. Maybe a little bit earlier than that. Back here is a bag of assorted doll shoes. I'm not sure if you can see them there in the plastic, but just little oilcloth shoes and things. They come in handy when you're redoing old dolls. Here is a nice size, probably quart, I would say, of a barrel-shaped uh, glass jar with the tin screw-on cap and wire bell handle. I love old jars and bottles and things like that. And other people, there's just so many things that people, crafters and collectors and people do with old jars. And there's nothing like displaying something in an old jar. Now these are like Victorian um, embossed salt and peppers. They have an embossed raised um, design on them and very intricate screw on cap there. I thought those were really pretty. Okay, before I go any further, I've got a really large, it's, uh, all this stuff is sitting on it. It's a large um, wood cutting board and it's hard to get these really large sizes and this was in really good condition. Okay, I have a set of uh, bookends here. These are probably about four inches maybe tall. Uh, they would be great for smaller books. It's got the Egyptian motif there on the front. You can see they're early pieces. And I got two little half pint ball mason jars with their yeah, uh, with their uh, zinc lids. Again, jars and bottles and things like this are are so versatile. There's so many things you can do with them and these little ones are hard to come by sometimes. Here's a beautiful 19th century yellowware multi-glaze, um, multi-color yellowware uh, fluted bowl with the scalloped edge. Now this is an early piece and it does show your wear and has imperfections and anybody uh, that knows me and my antiques know that I don't mind that and frankly I think it does give the character and wear that makes it just a, a nice piece that shows that it is an antique and plus you can get things a little cheaper when they're not perfect and pristine and this is just uh, got so much beauty to it. Okay, I was fortunate to run on to, I'm going to show you like in a group lot here, early ironstone. This would be the early pieces. This has got the early marks on them. I've got three little square dishes. i got these uh, wonderful little handleless sip cups. You can see the embossed design on them with matching saucers, the deep dish saucers. They're different designs too. This one back here is the like the wheat design. I got a one of these back here is the um, sugar bowl with the lid. Here is a creamer. As you can see the early marks there. There's another sugar bowl with the dome lid back there and a oval deep dish bowl that also has the beautiful embossed fluted scalloped edging there. Okay, I got a small jar. Well, he's a little taller than some. Probably maybe three, and maybe two and a half, something like that. A uh, little milk glass jar. This is probably the apothecary type of a jar with the tin screw on lid. I love little old jars like that. There's so much you can do with those as well. Here's an Auburn rubber little dump truck. It's got all of his wheels. He's probably a five inch, four and a half inch long little truck. And rubber toys were popular. I just recently sold one of these type of uh, starts with the, this is the quick elastic um, old advertising for um, 
advertising pieces for your laundry and so forth. And it's got the little flat iron uh, on the front of the package there. I got another one that's the Argo. Argo is also popular. It's got that such graphic uh, appealing design there with the large letters. These are unopened, still containing product. Cute little pair of little, um, well, earlier 19th century baby infant shoes. Look at the pointy toe and the scalloped edging that goes around the buttons. Just charming. I love those. Okay, I got a um, celluloid hand mirror. Now, this is a hefty one. This has got a long handle. I hope you can get an idea of the of the, of the length of it. And um, a beveled mirror there. A lot of people will hang these on their wall and put them in a grouping. And so getting one of the larger ones is really, a, 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 you know, a nice thing to have. Okay, and this is a little porcelain Japan half doll pin cushion in her little silky satin skirt, which will need to be ironed and she'll need to be cleaned up a little, but she is a cutie. She's got her original, everything's original it looks like on her. Okay, and then I got a, this is an old damask grid and white kitchen towel. Now this will need to be starched and ironed and the braids will have to be fixed here a little but this is a nice old towel. I sell a lot of these advertising sugar bags and stuff. This one's Sunny. Sunny Cane Sugar. And it has the a lot of good printing and graphics on it back and front. Now this is a nice crocheted table cover. It's a square design. You can see the beautiful crochet work there. Uh, it's an off-white is what I would call it. It is a larger square. I don't have the exact measurements in my head right now, but it's a larger square to make a great piece to be in the center of a large table. Back here, this is a great piece. This is a yeah, a straw, lady straw, white straw, wide brimmed, saucer brimmed hat with the big uh, satin bow and and uh, faux flowers. This would wouldn't this just be great with a long flowing white dress uh, walking through the garden in the spring. That one will probably go online for a while until spring. So let me pull back here and let you see everything in the group again. If you enjoyed these kind of videos and would like to see more, I really would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and share. Also, would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Any comments or questions are always welcome. And also, check the description of the video. As I have these things processed and ready for sale, I will try to get the links that you can see them with other pictures and detailed description and such in the description of the video. You'll find the links. So, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.